Mississippi and Louisiana are two states that have been through a lot in the past five years. An oil spill. A hurricane. But through it all, Digital Opportunity Trust's Teach Up program has been there, impacting schools, communities, and individuals. We want to make sure that we change that. We want them to come in in the schools just like they would at an airport or anywhere else and say, wow, look at the advances that have taken place here. I mean, we've got to keep a pulse on the technology field, and I think education right now is behind in the technology field. And until we get to a point where we say, okay, it's okay to use technology, then we're really going to take off. Well, it's engagement. That's the big thing about it with kids. You're living in the 21st century, but yet before this time period, we were trying to use 20th century tools in order to give them access to the curriculum. Now we're able to engage those kids in a medium that they can find themselves interested in. Well, I feel like I used to just use like the um, computers just as practice, whereas now it's more of an instructional tool, not just practice. It's actually part of the main direct instruction. I think it's encouraged us all to, to want to do more to, on our own, to, to kind of get courage to, to reach out and try some of these things and, and try things that we hadn't done before just because of the encouragement. And then we have to find a way to get one-on-one -on -one interaction with these teachers to show them how to use this stuff. Because we can buy $10 million in computers and they can sit in a box on that loading dock if they don't know how to use it for all I care. You know, this, if they're sitting in a closet in a box in a classroom, what good's it doing? What good's our money doing? It sure isn't helping the kids any sitting in a box. You know, if they can, if they don't know how to use it, they're going to put it in their desk and they're going to go back to writing on the whiteboard. Because the interns are in the classroom every day, they're the ones who are actually hands-on affecting how the teachers use technology in the class. Um, the interns have been able to connect with teachers on a very personal level. Some of them want to adopt them and cook for them and take them home with them and marry their daughters or sons. He showed them what the program can do. They give him the material and he incorporates that material in there. And then eventually they'll get to where they do it on their own and realize, hey, you know, I should have done this all along. It's not that hard. I definitely think it's a necessary position because what happens with a lot of teachers and with a lot of these new technologies is they get a brief training and then they never get follow-up. And so a lot of teachers have things that they're interested in, they want to use, but you know they don't have the support to really use them. So I would say that most of the teachers I've worked with would probably tell you that that right there has just been the biggest thing that I've been able to kind of connect the dots between what they want to do and the technologies they have and make it happen. The kids are excited, they're learning more, the teachers are excited. And uh, when these interns leave at the end of the year, there's, there will be tears. Some of them tutor, some of them help out at local hospitals and nursing homes. As far as community service is concerned, it's a very important component to me of this internship and in terms of just the world in general. I would say that, I would say that the community service is one of the, you know, the parts that I think is the best. Besides, you know, integrating technology into the school, the community service is the part that touches your heart. I definitely think it's important for people to be involved in their community because without involvement, how are you going to change anything? You may complain about what's going on in your neighborhood or where, what the kids are doing, that they're not, you know, occupying their time with something constructive. But if you're not involved, 
how can you say anything about it? I get to serve the community. Um, a lot of times we take for granted what people know and what people don't know. So as a AmeriCorps member, I get to reach the people that don't know things that are sometimes everyday knowledge to me. So my, the thing I enjoy the most is reaching those people that don't know. You know, because when they do that, like, oh man, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> You're laying the groundwork for a long-term improvement in our schools and in kids' futures and in their skills. I think it's making a difference in this community, in Mississippi Delta, as well as the state of Mississippi as a whole. This is a highly sustainable project. It's a, a big impact in the teachers, the schools, and that falls through and trickles to the children as a better education and better, a better community all around. So it's a great project. I would say it has been really good a good thing for us and uh, I think it would be a valuable asset to any any school that would be interested in, in improving their technology and and you can't just say oh my teachers all know this because you don't know you know and if you can reinforce things and help them it's always a, a big plus in the, the classroom and and the personal development of uh, school development and staff development of that teacher. DOT has the experience, the will, and the determination to immerse ourselves in communities striving to rebuild foundations and rise above the challenges they face. Whether it be from a natural disaster, a declining economy, or a suffering educational system, DOT aims to empower members of those communities within an economic setting, but even more so within an educational setting, by empowering teachers and students in the use of 21st century technology tools.